Hey there, Rena Wren here. Are you curious as to whether you should be posting your video as unlisted versus private if you're sharing it after an online class with your students? Stick around, I'll talk about that in this video. For my top online teaching tips and tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified every single week when I post a brand new video. Hey guys, Rena Wren here, and I just wanted to jump on real quick and show you what all steps you have to go through if you are just determined to have your YouTube video be private versus unlisted. On that note, I recommend unlisted and I'll get to more about that in a different video. But here I am on my YouTube channel. I'm going to go to YouTube Studio. And I've already gone in here and made one of my videos private, so I'm just going to go to that. So I'm going to click on videos in the left vertical menu and I'm going to go down and find this video that I made private so I can show you what all these steps look like um, because I think you're probably not going to want to do this. And it was it, da, 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 this one right here, private. Okay, so when you click this little hamburger menu right here, it says get shareable link. And when you click that, it will copy a link to your clipboard and you that is a pasteable link. But if you paste it in just a message to somebody or a text message or um, whatever, and they try to click it, they're not going to be able to get in it. It's going to say uh, private or something like that, unavailable, private. So if you really want people to be able to get that, there should be things that you have to do. You have to have that link first off, uh, but you're going to need it in a minute. Um, all right, so we're going to actually click inside this video. And then this is just like where you would go if you were going to edit a video that you already had up. So you go if you if you have one that you want to make private that you haven't didn't make private to begin, you go over here and you can change those settings. So this one I made private just for purposes of this demonstration. And then I'm going to go up here to the top where it says this three options up here. And I'm going to click the hamburger menu here. And then I'm going to select share privately. And then it's going to pull up this screen with the pop up. If it will catch up. And it's going to say, those are my friends who are testing this with me. So under this, who can view, you're going to type in an email address here. Awesome yogi at yoga.com. I'm making this up. Okay. This is important. This email address right here has to be an email address of a YouTube account. Okay. So if you have a friend who is awesome yogi at yoga.com and they have a YouTube account, but that's not their YouTube email address for that account, it won't even save that. If I click save right here, it won't even save it if it's not a YouTube email that it recognizes. If I put something in here that it will recognize, which I won't do because I don't want to share other people's email addresses publicly. Um, but let's say I put in my friend Nikki, let's say I put in her email address and it's the one that is associated with her YouTube account and I click save, it will save that email address and let me, um, so it has that saved. So I've told YouTube, hey, this email address is okay. Then what you have to do is physically go email that person. You have to take that link that you copied earlier, go inside your email, email that person, paste that link, and then when they get that email and they click on that link, it will let them see the video. But that is a lot of steps. And they, even at that, I think you can only have maybe like up to 50 people. So if you're a yoga teacher and you were wanting to share your videos only privately, you would have to make sure everybody was a YouTube, had a YouTube account. You would have to have their YouTube email. You would have to go into this for every single video and add every single email. <laughs> and then you'd have to go email them the link. You could maybe do one email with all of those people in it. But anyway, I hope you're seeing that this is not something that you want to do. You just want to make it unlisted. And a little bit on that note, I don't think really it's that useful to be in a space of thinking, 
that people are going to share it unfairly or that they're not going to be honest about it or that your students are going to be worried about, I paid for this, but now anyone with this link can watch it. Like in practice, I don't really see that happening. So I'm going to do a little bit more on that later. Hope this was helpful for you. This is why you want your videos to be unlisted and not private. Thanks. Be sure to look in the description below for the link to a free training for teaching online and a little resource guide that goes along with it. Be sure to check out these videos as well for more tips on teaching online. If you found this helpful, be sure to like this video, share it out with your friends, comment, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified of a new video every single week. Hope that was helpful for you today. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.